Well, hello, hello, my fine people of the internet. Welcome back to my channel. So, we're going to be discussing Lake Powell and its rise. Now, before that, I hope everybody had a good 4th of July weekend. So, let's get down to the numbers here. Lake Powell has experienced a significant rise in water level since this past April. Prior to the spring runoff, the lake reached a low elevation of 3,558 feet above sea level. With all that snow melted in the Colorado Rockies, the lake's water level gradually increased, rising nearly a foot a day. The lake peaked at an elevation of 3,587 feet above sea level on July 7, 2024, achieving a total gain of 29 feet. Comparing the maximum elevations of 2024 and 2023, the lake is only up 2.43 feet higher this year. With this information, today I present a comparison of this year's changes from June to July. All right, before we get started, if you guys can do me a favor and just like and subscribe to this channel, really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. All right, let's get to it. Obviously a little different now with these shots. I have to be in the water to get them, so. So we're looking like, let me get some more here. One second. Channel. Decent amount of water for the increase this year. Um, it's about where it was last year when uh, last year's runoff season ended. Of course, last year had a little bit more water uh, inflowing into Lake Powell from that all-time low. 
Um, so it boosted it up pretty good, but we're kind of at that same level right now. So with that, majority of this water is going to be sent to Lake Mead. Um, when the winter time approaches, pretty much starting now, the dam should probably be uh, outflowing a little bit more and finishing off what they owe, that 7.5 million acre feet down towards the lower basin states. And actually, the dam is outflowing a lot more. On July 9th, the Bureau of Reclamation opened two of Glen Canyon Dam's river outlet works in response to warmer river temperatures observed downstream. They are now releasing deeper and cooler water from the base of the dam to benefit the endangered humpback chub. Last year, Lake Powell hit a record low in 2023, causing the river temperature to rise, enabling smallmouth bass to reproduce downstream. This has led to competition between humpback chub and the smallmouth bass for habitat. For more information on this topic, I've already created a video which you can watch by following this link. Thank you to everyone, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Until next time. Until next time, folks.